What's good, YouTube? Um, I have a very special video. Um, this video is for those of you who are into computer cooling, like overclocking and shit, alright? Now, I am not responsible for any, like, mishaps that occur from using this method, but I've used it successfully, and it works pretty well. Uh... Better than regular water cooling, but like not a big enough difference unless you're using like a 360 watt unit. All right. Now, this is a thermal electric unit. This is um, a TEC 12706, so that's a 90 watt Peltier unit. Um, 90 watts isn't a lot, that's why I'm using it for this video, because it didn't cost me that much, it cost me like 6 bucks. But, it still, it still works for the video, alright? This will work with any Peltier unit, alright? Uh, well, if you do the math right. Now, this uses about 6 to 10 amps at 12 volts. Um... That's a little compared to like the I was looking at a uh, TEC twelve thirty uh twelve seven thirty and it is a three hundred sixty watt unit and it uses like twenty to thirty amps. That, that's it's incredible. Now with the power supply you use as a precaution I do is like this is an old power supply. I'm not actually gonna use this, it's for the video. Um with the, with the power supply, you want to make sure you have a single 12 volt rail. Let me turn it upside down. You want to make sure you have a single 12 volt rail. But this one has two: a 14 amp rail and a 0.8 amp rail. You don't, you do not want that. You want a single 12 volt rail, all right? And it, the it maxes out at 14 amps. That wouldn't be good if you were trying to run like a, a TEC 12730. It's really not good. Now, the way a Peltier unit works is it has a bunch of little semiconductors in it. P-type and N-type, they're doped semiconductors. And basically it's a heat pump. This side gets hot, this side gets cold. It is... They're used in refrigerators, they're used in wine coolers, and they're used in these coolers because yeah, they're not very efficient. I mean, you have to keep the hot side very cold. The colder you keep the hot side, the better. The colder you keep the hot side, the colder the cold side will get, and the more efficient the unit will be. You have to keep the hot side cooled, otherwise it will burn out the whole unit and be a waste of money. I will be uploading another video soon of how to cool the hot side efficiently and the cold side at once. Now, onto the wiring. With wiring Peltier units, if you're using a single 12 volt rail power supply, which is what I recommend, you want to get the yellow wire on a Molex, a Molex connector. You want to get the yellow wire and the black wire, All right, those two wires. The yellow wire would be connected to the red wire on the unit. Like you would get some uh, male, some female connector, Molex connectors, and crimp them on and insert them. But I'm not doing that because I'm lazy. Don't don't try it if you don't have the connectors, by the way. And the black wire in the black terminal. The yellow wire is the 12 volt wire. The red wire is the 3 or 5 volt wire. And there you have it. You must keep the hot side cooled at all times. And if you're going to use this for a CPU, the cold side gets so cold that it'll produce um, frost. It, it, it'll dehumidify the room that the computer is in because, like, you know how when you open a freezer, there's frost all over the wall. That's condensation. It's being frozen. Alright. 
you don't want that on your CPU. <laughs> It'll really, water and computers don't really mix. So I would recommend um, following my next method, um, which is going to be the video I upload after this one in a couple of weeks. Well, see you later.